Good morning, Whams. As you know, you all have a dashboard, and in that dashboard, you have your email. So today, we're going to be learning on how to open, respond, and create your own email. So if you go to your dashboard, okay, you're going to look for Outlook, little email button right here. Going to click it. In your mailbox, you are going to see everything in your inbox. Your inbox is emails from other people. If you were looking for things that you sent, you'd be in sent items. But for now, we're going to look how to open, reply, and write your own emails after the magic's done happening. All right. So, as you can see here, Miss Mushler, one of our seventh grade ELA teachers, has sent me an email. Over here, you can see everybody that has been included. Okay, and it's for a Zoom. So, I want to respond. I'm going to RSVP. And then maybe I feel like writing her back. Okay. So I'm going to go to new messages. I'm going to search her name. Okay. All I did was click enter and her name will pop up here. We're going to do a new subject. Okay. A subject is what she's going to read. So here, Miss Mutchler's subject to me was ELA 7 meeting. We're just going to check in. Proper etiquette shows that we want to say good morning to her, good afternoon, acknowledge her, put our email in, and then say who it's from. So good morning, because in my time, it's morning. Let's see, let's see. I just wanted, whoops, to thank you for the invite to the Zoom meeting. Happy to attend. Is there anything I whoop can do to help? And that's a question. I'm going to put Miss Costa. Now, what you see here, it's capital I's. It's full sentences. We're not doing text talk. Okay? We're not doing any of this. Thanks. See you soon. Nope. None of that. Full-blown text. Okay? Remember, you're going to be responding to teachers, to admin, to other peers. Okay? When we're ready, we're going to send. If I wanted to attach something, I go to my little paper clip. Uh, let's do why we can't wait. Okay? Maybe I want to add that to it. P.S. We'll remember capital letters. We'll find a text attached to email. Please view and send me back your thoughts. Period. Full sentences. Okay, so up here, she's going to see the attachment. She can download it. She can just click it to open it. Okay, I can even add my little emojis if I wanted to. We're not going to do that. And then we're going to hit send. Okay, now this is going to pop up on the last thing that we looked at. Okay, if I open up Dr. Ross's, up here it says group whams all teachers. That's to every single one of us. Okay, so this little arrow here, that says reply all. If I hit this arrow to respond to him, every single whams teacher is going to get my response. I don't want that. I just want to email Dr. Ross. So I'm just going to hit reply. Remember, heading and message, if I can spell correctly. There we go. Sure. I could not type today. Surely make my job much easier. Have a great day. And sign. Now. When I hit send, that will just go to, Ms. Do to Dr. Ross. If I had hit reply all, every single one of these teachers would have gotten my email. Especially because it's just sent to Dr. Ross, I would look kind of silly. When you are getting emails, if I, as your teacher, or any one of your teachers, send to a whole group, every student is going to get that email. If you hit reply all and have a personal message in there just for me or one of your other teachers, 
Every single student that is in that email will get it. You don't want to do that. So you want to hit reply to just the sender, not reply all. Hit send and it's sent. Now, if I want to make sure it went where I want it to do, I can hit sent items. Here you will see my email to Dr. Ross and my email to Mrs. Mutchler. Okay? If you have questions, please ask your teacher. We are here to help you. Remember, you go to Dashboard, to Outlook, and that takes you to your email. Okay? It is imperative, meaning very important, that you are constantly on your dashboard and checking your email throughout this whole next year and from your career here on out through WAMS and the high school, you will be using email, so you want to become very familiar with it. If you have any more questions on this tutorial, please just ask a teacher or you can use your new emailing skills and email me and I will be happy to help you.